All right, here we are drinking Pinot Grigio once again. again. But last time it was Pinot Grigio gone wrong. This is Pinot Grigio gone right. The one we're drinking right now is the very okay. value-oriented vino. Vino, which just means wine. Pinot yeah, Grigio. It has a bottle. It's got a bottle in it. It's got a bottle. Uh, it's a fella you know, Mr. Charles Smith. One of the objects of one of our very first videos. Italian-inspired and locally produced. What he means by locally is uh, Central Washington. It is clean. It is crisp. There's like the apricot. This is some refreshing ass shit. It's very light. It's and light clean. and clean, but it's good. It's very Italian style. So I would give this three Godfather twos out of five. That is pretty good. This is a $10 bottle. That's all you can ask of a $10 bottle of wine, honestly. And that's all any Pinot Grigio should ever cost is $10. <laughs> That sounds a little bit like a segue to me. From the Willamette Valley of Oregon, the magic golden land. Adelsheim. Adelsheim. Oh, Adelsheim, I'm sorry. Pinot Gris. Pinot Gris? Why is it Pinot Gris and not Pinot Grigio? Well, because Pinot Gris the is, wine guy, is a French style. Pinot Grigio is an Italian style. This grape originated in France, so... Now, they are the same grape, yes? They are the same grape. Same grape, different style. Different style, same grape. This one's creamier, for sure. It has a lot of elements. Mm -hmm. I like the creaminess the best. But, I gotta say, the first wine was much more refreshing and cleansing than this one was. But this one has a lot more going on. And the adult time is twice the price. I don't necessarily think it's twice as good, but uh, it's, it is the better of the two, but it is also double the price. So... You know how we come down on that kind of thing. I'm gonna give this one three and a half Edelweisses out of five. If you're in a situation where you had to go to your friend's house party or something, buy the $10 wine, it kicks ass, it's good, you know? But if you're looking for something a little more complex and challenging for yourself and you have some money to blow, you know, buy the $20 one, don't get the $10 one. You know, it's different wines for different situations, but they're both pretty yeah. spot on and yeah. decent. <laughs> There's that right old noise we know and love. We're gonna pair this series with a personal favorite for both of us. 1989's debut album from a Grammy Award winning uh, artist. And an Oscar Award winning eventually. artist. He's won an Oscar and a Grammy. His name is Trent Reznor. <laughs> It's funny to say both those things, but yep, it's true. It's pretty hate machine. Pretty right? hate machine. Uh, we got a Pinot Gris, right? And Gris means gray. Like the color, if I had a heart. Come on, tell me. Come on! Much like we connected Gris to a shitty fucking Grateful Dead song. Here's some other good songs on there. Uh, Head Like a Hole. Uh, sin. Sin, yeah. Cha, 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 cha. Pretty much how Sin goes, yeah. Cha, 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 cha. Buy both of these with utmost confidence. Suck a dick, dumb shits. Oh my god, no! Oh god, I broke another one of your glasses. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, alright, we're done here. We're done here.